Texas and I'm back on site today for just a couple of hours. I had to do a bunch of errands this morning. I had to go back up to the old homestead. They had an electrical issue. Some, some kind of a drink got spilled onto a GFCI outlet and the outlet did its job. It shorted out, prevented the problem from going all the way back down to the circuit breaker and the outlet needed to be replaced. I could have hired an electrician to do it but I'm sure they would have charged me an enormous amount of money and who knows if they even would have done it properly. So I just drove up there. I still have stuff up there anyway, so I was picking up some of that, including some pond liner. I found some pond liner, rubber pond liner, uh, just on the side of the road. Someone was getting rid of it uh, somewhere a couple of years ago. And uh, I just thrown it off to the side of the driveway after I picked it up. Uh, and and then I just picked it back up from the side of the driveway. It never, never left all the years that I was there. Put it back in my car and uh, brought it back down here. And I got it all nice and folded up in the back. Got a tarp over it to keep it protected from the sun. And once we do get our, uh, I think I'm going to do a small pond out here. And we might even do a pond outside here. But anyway, anyway it's, uh, you know, useful material. So I got that down here. Uh, and that took most of the day doing that run over there, but I wanted to put in at least a little time. And one great thing to do if you just have a little bit of time is to get yourself kind of prepped for the next day. Uh, you know, I, tomorrow I'm going to be coming in and doing a regular day. And I wanted to kind of, you know, break down the things that were in the way, get things set up for, you know, what happens next. And that can actually really accelerate your next day if you do that. So, uh, you know, I've come in here, I'm, I'm kind of cleaning up the plastic off of this thing. I think tomorrow I'm going to be working upstairs uh, doing grout in the bathroom because we want to be able to get the plumber back in. But mostly I'm just getting all my ducks in a row, everything ready to uh, move. So tomorrow, as soon as I get here, I can hit the ground running. What I want to show you today is just what I'm doing here. Remember that I had the plastic that's all underneath all this brickwork and there's the edge coming out here. And the way that I'm getting rid of that is just with a knife and I'm just kind of pulling on it and uh, putting you know, some decent tension on it and running the knife down through the edge of the concrete here. If this, this concrete, uh, you know, the mortar between these joints, is only a couple of days old, so it's still you know, not at its full strength, and it kind of chips away, because the concrete uh, on the, on the, you know, down near the floor kind of like slumps down a little bit, so I'm kind of cutting off that edge and making a nice crisp edge. And I'm pulling on the plastic, because that is uh, pulling a little bit from the plastic underneath, and then the, uh, the edge kind of retracts underneath after the tension is released from it. So, just going around here. I'm really excited about how this whole thing came out. I think I, I did the whole video yesterday about that. But, uh, yeah, very, very positive about this whole thing. Let's see, this is a big reveal here. There we go. So, I think some sweeping will help that a lot, but, uh, yeah, this is going to be a really nice spot, and I can walk on it now. Wood stove is going to go right here, and the chimney pipe right up through here. Again, the trick is proximity to different things. I would love to do as much black pipe as I can. The black pipe is cheaper, and it's more effective because it is radiating out the heat, so you get more heat out of your wood. Uh, but because it's radiating, radiating out heat, uh, some people believe that that makes it dangerous, and it is. You don't want to put your hand on it, but some people feel like you need to take, uh, keep a significant distance from that. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but um, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to use as much black pipe as possible because it'll get more heat into the house from the wood, so it'll mean that we don't have to burn as much wood that you know saves money, saves energy, saves the earth, and the governments are supposed to love that, but you know in practice, whatever. Uh, and uh, it'll also save me a bunch of money if I don't have to buy a bunch of the insulated pipe. Additional to that, and we're going to be installing this later, there's going to be an oven. There's an oven unit, and it's going to go somewhere here. It's kind of a barrel shape, and it goes right above the wood stove. Wood stove has a smoke uh, stack come out, and it goes right into the bottom of the oven. Smoke circulates around the oven, and I'm not sure whether I'm going to make it accessible here. This seems like this would be a great place to kind of get at it, or... Maybe over here, I'm not sure, we'll kind of see how that works. But uh, that's the thing, is I want to make this area that I can work in and make it so that I can put that oven in later on. <sighs> but today, I'm just getting myself ready for tomorrow. That's it. Thanks for watching.